Hi hey guys, today I want to talk about the most common composition that was used in pro play. And mainly it's because the meta shifted a little bit with the change of Tyrande and the change of double supports kind of coming back. They wanted to find an answer to double support uh, by pretty much picking one target and really just blowing them up. So the first uh, composition that I want to talk about is the blow up composition, which was the most common composition used in all of HGC, or at least this, uh, this last phase of HGC. So, to start off, a blow-up composition needs essentially three things. It needs a setup, a follow-up, and damage, uh, burst damage in particular. So in order to make this work, the setup is any sort of CC that can either catch someone who's out of position or something that can make people out of position, that could force them out of position. This is commonly used like pulls, uh, like you've got the hooks or you've got Kerrigan's pull, you've got throws like Diablo's flip and push, you've got throws like Garrosh, anything that can get people away from their team so that you can go to the follow-up. The follow-up is any CC that locks people down after they've been put into a position that's out of position. Usually this is a Tyrande stun or maybe a Thrall Wolf, possibly just a stun from a Blaze or maybe just another hero. And then finally you need burst damage. Oftentimes in the meta right now, the burst damage that was used was usually a Jaina, a, um, a Hanzo, uh, sometimes Rainer was used here and there, but uh, usually some form of burst damage. Those are the three aspects that are needed for a blow-up comp, and they are extremely important. So let me go through some of the team comps that were played, and I want to show you guys what they look like. So, for instance, this first Dignitas comp, we have a Garrosh, who is the setup, we have a Malfurion, who's the follow-up, and we have the Jaina and the uh, Tracer, who are blow-up. Okay, or the, the damage. They are the burst damage. Then on to Gen G's composition, we have the setup, which is the Anubarak, into the uh, follow up, which is the Tyrande, into the burst, which is the Hanzo and the Phoenix. This blow up composition was so common, uh, we saw tons of variations of it, a lot of them with Diablos, Deckards, uh, setup, follow up. Then you could also have the Deckard as the setup in this particular team comp as Deckard sets up and then you have follow up from the Arthas, the burst damage from the others. This one's probably the not as close to a blow up comp as a lot of the others. There are other compositions that you might see, but generally what we saw was these blow up comps. So I kind of want to show you guys a little bit of how these comps work in a Hero's Hearth versus uh, Team Liquid game. If you haven't seen this, I feel like... I'd, a little bit of a spoiler, but it's only a single fight. So as we see, we see that uh, McIntyre is grabbing this objective up here. We have the Maev who's trying to stall someone out up top. And the rest of the team is setting up for this bottom objective. We see Ishbu who's playing pretty safe, but generally just going in to stall out a little bit. We have the stall from the, um, the Hanzo. Then we have a... Hey, I'm showing up here ping from McIntyre, followed by a dig from McIntyre. We see that the Anubarak is also going in. So we have everything ready. We have Ishbu who's also running in here. So what do we have, guys? We have a setup. We have a follow-up, as well as another follow-up. And we have the burst damage. So let's watch how this plays out. First, we start off by getting her in a position where it's easier. Now, he doesn't end up getting the tongue off. He gets her to kind of bait back and forth trying to avoid the tongue. Then we have the setup from the Anubarak, as well as the follow-up from the Tyrande, the burst damage from the Hanzo, follow-up from Hanzo as well, and immediately into them winning this first objective, and it allows them to really just blow up. Then once again, we have a follow-up, um, as he was slowed, and we go right back into another burst into that. They take out this objective, and that's pretty much how all of them played out. We saw in the finals, uh, if you've seen my video that talks about the finals, the Dignitas ran a blow-up comp, and it worked really well for them, as the majority of the finals, it was Stitches pulling people in, dropping a stun from Tyrande, dropping the stun from Kerrigan, and it was just stun after stun after stun. So those blow-up comps were the most common compositions, and I will likely be doing a full written guide on different heroes that can be used as a setup and different heroes that can be used as a follow-up. 
hopefully that helps you guys out on those compositions and that explains how you can play as a blow up comp now how do you counter a blow up comp they seem kind of flawless in the fact that they will pick a target and blow them up so quickly without any follow-up Mediv is a is pretty much the number one counter because a lot of their damage happens really quickly and you can also portal people out they get pulled in they get a shield they get portaled out Tassadar. Tassadar can give someone a shield and then give them 15 armor. Zarya is one of my favorites that wasn't used in pro play because she also gives a shield, but that shield can also give movement speed or the shield can just give more shielding and she gets buffed up because of it. Uh, Gust is also a great counter to it. You see the first piece go off, you just gust it and boom, you're out of the fight. A lot of people were using things like Garrosh's counters to it, as you could also run a blow-up comp, but you can counter a blow-up comp by giving yourself unstoppable and then throwing your ally out and throwing the enemy away from you, resetting the team fight so that you guys can get reset up for you to actually do a blow-up. So if you're running to run a blow-up comp and the enemies want to run a blow-up comp, Garrosh is one of the best counters to it. Deckard's also a great counter. You can, If you see one of the first pieces go off, you can immediately sleep. Or you can immediately lure NATO to try to save people. There's a lot of tools to counter it, but generally it's shields or huge fast CC that can get the enemies away. I liked playing Stukov, as Stukov could just knock the entire enemy team away. Gusts, anything that's really fast like that. Uh, Li Ming was used a lot of times in if you were playing a blow-up comp, the enemies playing a blow-up comp, because if they did the first piece, you wave a force, reset the fight. That's how you counter the blow-up comp, and that's how you play it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out so you could learn a little bit more about blow-up comps. Thank you for watching.